Hello everyone, this is Subhranil Sharkar. Today we are going to learn how to use bottom app bar in Kiwi apps. So first we need to use a box layout as the layout of the widgets. The orientation of the widgets is gonna be vertical. Now we need a toolbar or app bar for our app, which will show on the top of our app. The title would be the bottom app bar. Now if we run the code, we will see an app bar down on down on our screen. Now we will add another box layout inside the box layout whose orientation will also be vertical. Then in this layout, we will add the bottom app bar. To add that from the KVMD extensions library, we need to import it first. We have already seen in the previous videos how to import python packages inside the Kiwi code. To import a package firstly you need to write a hash then a colon then the word import then the class that you want to import from the library then space then the parent package name from where the class exists. In this case, it is AK floating rounded app bar and we import this from kbmd extensions.akbmd.uix.bottom app bar then space then we have to write the class name again. Now we can use this inside our box layout. This is the app bar container in which the widgets will be shown. We can use two types of widget in the bottom app bar. One is button item and the other is image item. First, let's use the button item. The widget is the same as the base app bar name. You have just to add the button item at the end of that. To add this widget in our app, we have to import it just like the way we have imported the base bottom app bar. Copy the first line and paste it below and change the class name with the button item. Now copy the button item widget and paste it in those places by selecting them. We have successfully imported it from the KVMD extension. To use the image item, we need to import it similarly. So we will copy this and paste it just below. And change the button item with avatar item. Do change in both places. So far, we have imported both of those widgets. Now we can customize them. We will add an icon of home and a text home in the bottom item. Text will be shown below the icon. We can use the local image or the network image inside the avatar item. First I will show you the local image then I will use the image from network. Download.png is in the same directory of the Kiwi project. So if we run the code now we can see a button app bar and two widgets in it. One is a button item with an icon and a label and the other is an avatar item with a local image rendered there. And we will have a toolbar on the upper side. Sorry, I think I have made some mistakes there. Now let me fix them. The toolbar and the bottom app bar overlap each other. Oh, I have found it. This box layout is not a child of the toolbar. So we have to unindent the box layout and its components to fix our problem. So that's it. We have successfully made a bottom app bar. You can see the app bar is in the center and not extends fully to the screen width. So if we want our app bar to fill all the width, 
we need to use the size hint x and set its value to 1. Nice, it is now extended. Now let's use another button item. So we will just copy and paste the current button item. Change the icon and the text. I will be using the account icon. Now let's add another avatar item and this time we will use the network image. So from the Google search, let's choose any image and copy its address. Oh no, this is a lot of characters. By the way, don't worry about it. The avatar item added successfully. The video ends here and thank you for watching this. See you in the next one.